Yo, family, what's up? What's up? How y'all doing? What's going on? What's going on? Peace and love to y'all, right? So, uh, been busy all these weeks and everything like that. Now, I got a lot of updates in regards to credit, right? So, the route that I took initially, I wanted to, you know, obtain credit solely by using, like, business lines of credit and everything like that. But I'm starting to tap into some other programs that I've been figuring out. Um, it's called SBA, uh, Small Business Administration, where... Where you can borrow up to like 150,000 without showing documentation, meaning like tax returns or bank statements. Usually they just go off your credit. And you want me to tell you the good news? Um, pretty much when you go ahead and you know, when you apply and everything like that, they require you to already be in a position where you couldn't get qualified for traditional loans. Now, I never shot and went, went at a regular loan, but it just giving you the bread and butter it's more like it's more secured with getting approved right but that's for another conversation right but in this whole video um i'm about to be explaining about down payments right now most people who've been going to car dealerships and everything like that right um most of the time people get scammed out people are coming there with the best credit right <clears throat> 750 800 credit score they come up in a they pick the vehicle out. They ask them like, "Hey, do you want to put a down payment?" Most people will be like, "No, I don't want to put a down payment." Or some people will say, "Yeah, I put a down payment, right?" But most of the time, you want to go for no down payment. Now, when you go for no down payment, they are trying to convince you or persuade you that you got to put more down, right? Now, in all circumstances, this don't happen like that. So, I had went up to the Mercedes Benz dealership and I was looking for something for my wife, right? And so, I found the vehicle there. Now the vehicle is over fifty thousand, right? So anything over fifty, and you got questionable credit, they usually want a down payment. So in this scenario, scenario they didn't because what I already had on my credit. So I'm I'm already paying over four hundred some thousand dollars in debt, right? And so by me making monthly payments and they seeing this stuff on my credit report, um, Mercedes Benz dealership approved my application with a hundred percent no down payment, right? And and I say this to say. When y'all go into the dealership, it's not really so much of your credit. It's about what you're willing to accept and what you're not willing to accept. So when you go in there, you got to be 100% serious. You can't come in there playing games and, and and trying to negotiate. They ask me, what if they did want you to bank a down payment? I said, I don't want to make any down payment. I don't want a down payment. I'm not paying a down payment. And it's kind of like you got to bully them. Not in a way where you being aggressive, but you got to stand on what you stand on. Because if you ain't standing on principle... These same people is going to try to go come back to you and lie and say, oh, they need a minimum of, of three thousand dollars down just so they can get a cut of that from the commission. No, you're not accepting any of that. The, the main goal is we need this vehicle. I don't care about the interest rate. I don't care about the terms. One thing I'm looking for is no down payment. Now, no down payment. Boom. You are you in the best position. Now, they approved the application. They came back. And I ain't had to pay a penny out the door. Out the door, I didn't have to pay nothing. Not one cent, not two cent, not three cent. I could have got the vehicle and took it and they never see me again and deleted it from my credit report. But I conduct good business. But that's the good thing, right? You want to make sure that you stand on your purpose when you go inside these dealerships. They will try to scam you and don't take no for an answer. And also, even though they run your credit 10, 20 times, you get that deleted from your credit report. You call the credit bureaus directly. And so before the account pop on, that's when you go ahead and call the credit bureaus to, to get the inquiries removed because all of the other banks that they submitted to and everything like that, these companies might reject it because these are outside lenders. You want to really deal with the inside uh, finance department and see what they talking about because those are going to be the ones that approve your application at 100% without any terms, without any down payments or anything like that. So um yeah i got it family so um yeah this credit game for real but now it's time to tap into the money aspect right now most people look at it and they be like man um why why would a person put vehicles and everything like that before they grab a business loan because you also got to understand when you're dealing with business loan applications business credit card applications they look for stuff like this you need to have a thick credit profile before you want to step into these banks and you want to grab 150,000. You want to be in the best position when you want to grab 200,000. You want to be in the best position when you want to grab a million dollars. You just can't come in the banks and expect 
them to give you everything and you don't have certain consumer debt on your credit report that shows something substantial. You get what I'm saying? So you need to have a strong profile. You can't you can't come in there with a weak profile and expecting them to give you a million dollars and you think you can do this and do that. It don't work like that. I'm out.